Hey guys, in this video I want to share with you some ways that we can reduce our exposure to microplastics. Microplastics are often defined as plastic particles up to 5 millimeters in dimension and they're present in everything from food, water, air, personal care products, and even in our plants. So, I'll share with you six ways to reduce your exposure before we get started. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Help reduce your exposure. While it's largely impossible to totally prevent children as well as adults from ingesting the plastic, here's a few practical steps you can take. One, avoid plastic packaging as much as possible. I know it's convenient to buy things in plastic. It's very convenient to use plastic storage bags, freezer bags, plasticware and so forth. But when at all possible, use paper bags and avoid food that comes wrapped in plastic. If you see it in paper cartons, even better. When you go out to dine in restaurants, ask for recyclable packaging or paper packaging if at all possible. Number two, clean regularly. Microplastics can be found in dust so clean your home regularly and thoroughly. Be sure to clean your baseboards. Use your holes in your vacuum if you have one to get the ceiling. Especially in your kitchen where you have a lot of plastic. And in areas like your garage. And possibly in your bathroom. Number three, choose products carefully. Avoid personal care products such as toothpaste, soaps, and shampoos that contain microplastics additives such as phthalates. Read the labels, look online, go to the Environmental Working Group website and see what they list as microplastic ingredients. Make a list or take a screenshot. Carry it with you when you shop online or in store and be sure to avoid those products as much as possible. Number four, build safely. Now if you're building or renovating a home and congratulations, that means you're awfully brilliant. Choose building materials that are free of PVC or polyvinyl chloride, which contains toxic chemicals that can leach out or evaporate into the air over time. And also, if you're hiring someone who's building or renovating, choose those who use PVC-free materials and who also use materials that have recycled when possible. Number five, share good habits. Model and share smart choices when it comes to plastic, such as avoiding putting plastic items in your mouth and using stainless steel, glass, or porcelain containers when making meals, particularly for hot food and liquids. Mason jars are excellent for storing not only juices, foods, salads, and so forth. You can get straws that are made from actually recycled food, and you can avoid using plastic straws altogether. There's also the stainless steel and glass. Now, I know you're thinking, some of the biggest ways we get exposed to plastic are drinking bottles, whether it be soda, water, juices, and that's very true. Read the labels, make sure that the content has no microplastics or BHTs or BHA, and if it's being recycled, make sure it's being done with responsible recycling centers. That's a very good way to reduce it. And the last point is, are you cleansing with microplastics? According to the United Nations Environment Program, a typical exfoliating shower gel can contain as much microplastic in its cleansing formula as it does in its packaging. So if you're using shower gel that has those little bees that feel so good, this is the time to stop and choose better cleansers for yourself. Those microplastic beads are not good for you or for the environment. Get something that's healthier, that makes you feel good, smells good when you use it, and that won't endanger your health. If these tips have been helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. In my next short video, I'll tell you more about how we can move toward a plastic-free future. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay happy, healthy, and whole, and I'll see you next time.